now uh, let's try to create one simple uh, analytical application uh, to quick start and you know learn how to start with it so i am going to this sap analytics cloud and i am going you know navigating to the apps and under it i selected this analytical application and i am clicking on this application create new application so now what happens now it is asking whether optimized i am going for the classical design you know uh, experience only and clicking on okay button So now what? So you see now this is the analytical designer. So in this now I can use it to you know to create my um, storyboard analytical application. So this is the canvas. So this is already um, coming with the canvas structure. So currently it was empty. Now I am going to add some charts. So you can add you know charts, you can add table, you know, and you can add multiple uh, you know widgets into your storyboard here and all. Okay. So first let's uh, click on this uh, you know. Um, uh, insert chart okay so if i go to insert chart initially it is asking to bind up one model so i am going to training and i am selecting my model you know sales underscore children and one one model so data was binded and now a chart is coming into picture so now instead of chart now so first what i do is uh, uh, i will create one drop down because to make it very simple uh, to because people who doesn't know you know too much uh, javascripting and all to make it easy so what i will do i will start with very minimal basics so now what i am going to do is uh, i am going to add one uh, drop down button okay where is drop down this is the drop down button so in this drop down button what i am doing you see um, i want to add some new thing right on the right hand side on the designer builder section it is asking what is the data source type manual input script variables model variables are you know text filter variables so currently let's go for manual input okay now click here on the plus symbol to add some manual input so let's add amount okay and then add one more quantity so drop down means at any point of time you can select only one here quantity and instead of for example in your model if uh, you can give here in capital letters uh, iris and the text you can give uh, how it looks want and here also i am giving quantity and here in small letters quantity so it's a very simple drop down button with the two entities in two entries in it okay when i select the drop down it will show at runtime now what i am going to do i am going to add one text here okay so some text label generally text label what we use to show some heading and all we use this text label okay now i am not going to write anything under this text label um, what i am going to do is uh, for this drop down for this drop down i am going to this you know um, uh, this is styling option and i am changing the name of this drop down as a you know dd underscore one drop down okay or else a kpi um, kpi uh, one let's say it one okay now then i am coming to my text box so text box also i am going to styling and then giving um, so text right txt underscore one this is the name which i want to give to my text box and if you want to give some borders and all to your you know um, drop down box you can go bottom and provide borders you know up and down like this and you can uh, increase the length of your uh, you know lines similarly for text box also i want to you know a little bit border to display the uh, where exactly it is i am changing the styling so now now what is my requirement my requirement is uh, when i select amount i want to show amount in my text label and when i select from the drop down when i select uh, you know price or quantity i want to show that in the in the text label okay initially this text is empty and whenever i select something i want to show that particular label here okay now i am going to save this first of all so under my training folder uh, analytical application right ap underscore one okay i am saving this with this name no so how so by selecting if i click on this run application designer now you can you know execute this as of now no functionality was defined for the text to display but uh, we can see how exactly it look and feel what we designed so far
you see I, I have a drop down of amount and you know quantity in the check in the drop down button uh, here I have a text label but nothing is displaying even I have a chart but uh, you know I didn't add any dimensions into it now what I am going to write I am going to write some uh, scripting Java scripting here to display whichever I selected here okay so how can I do it so in the canvas page whichever I added to my canvas page all the objects you can see in this way so this is the text label uh, chart you know and then uh, drop down box so when I want whenever I'm interacting with the drop down box I want to perform some action so now go to the drop down select the drop down box and uh, you know in this drop down box there is a function called edit script click on this edit script so what is happening you see dd1 on select so whenever I select something on the drop down box so what exactly I want to perform such code I need to write here okay so what I want to see um, whenever I select something from the drop down box I want to uh, I want to get that selected you know I want now I'm going to define a variable okay where um, get uh, selected text I am defining a selected text is equal to what I am uh, this is the drop down one right dd and then press control space if you press control space it will give you help like what are the existing ones so dd1 dot again control space now it will tell using drop down box what are the different options you are having here okay so I want to get the get selected key so what is selected key means nothing but whichever you selected in the drop down that particular item you know a value will be now uh, written as part of this particular function so selected key and then uh, we need to end with a semicolon so now what is happening now this dd1 dot get selected key will return the selected value from the drop down box and storing it in a variable called selected test what is this red color one it is not yet this variable not yet used anywhere that's what it is showing here okay now what I am going to do whenever I select something on the drop down box I want to update the text in the text variable so now what I am going to do tt uh, txt okay control space so dot now what are the um, apply text you know by using apply text functionality so you see apply text within the brackets it is saying text this is called syntax check okay it is telling the apply text syntax is you need to pass one text variable here okay or uh, hard coded test value so now what I am passing here I am passing my selected text variable value here so now what happens txt underscore one dot apply text means whatever is stored in this selected text that will be applied into my text uh, you know uh, button so now click on save button so we are done with the writing this small script and let's try to execute our analytical application so you already opened analytical application you need to refresh the entire page not the data so the below refresh is uh, mentioning about the data refresh but if you want to refresh entire page in order to replicate this uh, changes in your analytical application at the initial point of view the code is whenever I interact with the drop down box then only this uh, text label will be displayed but as of now when this uh, application was refreshed it is not yet interacted with the checkbox now I am going here and interacting like I am selecting quantity you see now quantity was displayed here now I again I am interacting with drop down box and selecting amount you see now amount was displaying here you see it's a very simple uh, scripting you know which you did just now to understand how exactly uh, scripting works in SAC analytical applications okay so this is simple one right now we will increase little by little uh, in our next sessions